Installing brushes is easy. All you need are some basic hand tools, some sandpaper, and a seating stone. For the exciter brushes, we're going to start with removing the exciter cap. Removing the exciter brushes, we're going to go ahead and pull the spring back and just slide it out of the holder. Next, we're going to remove the nut that's holding our wires in place. Then we're going to pull the brush wire off. And that's it, pull the brush is out. Our new brush is going to install in the reverse order. The brush is angled, and we want that angle to match the contour of our commutator. We pull the spring back, slide our new brush into the holder, gently put the spring in place. And then we'll put our wire back in place and put our nut on. It's important not to over tighten this. It'll break easily. Just snug is good enough. And then the other side is exactly the same. From the front of the machine, the commutator is going to spin counterclockwise. We're going to drag the sandpaper in the same direction, counterclockwise, and we want to make sure we keep the sandpaper in the round rotational angle of the commutator. That way we're creating the same shape onto the brush surface. It's important that we pull in that rotation. If we straighten the sandpaper out and we go straight up, we're gonna end up making that gap even worse. Now that our brushes have been contoured to the commutator, we're gonna take our seating stone and we're gonna get them seated. We're gonna start the engine and carefully take the brush and touch it to the commutator before the brush in line of rotation. As the stone wears down on the commutator, all the particles are gonna get drug through underneath the brush and it's gonna seed it to that. We've hit it with the stone, but we can see that the surface is still not quite smooth and consistent, so we got to keep going a little further. We're going to start by removing the brush cover. As you can tell, this one's got a little bit of uh, debris in it there. It's a good time to make sure that none of these wires are damaged from rats, mice, anything like that. Luckily, these ones look like they're still okay, but we're gonna go ahead and blow it out so we're working in a cleaner environment. There's still like a full on rat's nest in here. Oh, that's because there's a dead mouse in there. Okay, he's out. Is Chris taking out the trash today? Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and remove our old brushes. 
We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and take off this big screw holding on our brush leads. And then the brushes will just come out by relieving the spring tension. And they slide right out. Installation is just the opposite. We pull the springs back, slip in our new brushes. Grab our screw and hook up our leads. And that's it. Now it's time to seed them.